Hi there, I'm Mike from Velvet Green Organic Lawn Care. Have you ever looked out at your lawn and thought, hey, what gives? I'm giving my lawn plenty of water and it's even been raining periodically. Why do I still have discolored brown patches in my lawn? How can it still be thirsty for more? That's a great question. Water could definitely be the issue, just not in the way you might imagine. Same as what can happen under a leaky bathroom sink, consistent warmth and moisture can encourage the growth of fungus. If you water every day, particularly if you water in the evening, or if we get a period of sustained humidity, fungal turf diseases can rear their ugly heads. I'll start off by reassuring you that these diseases can be prevented and remedied through some very simple changes to your lawn's maintenance routine. Also, the damage done by these diseases are usually just aesthetic and your lawn should recover fairly easily. But like any disease, if left unaddressed, the problems can worsen or in some cases become terminal. So as we dive into this topic, it's essential to discuss the disease triangle. The three sides of the disease triangle are the host, the pathogen, and the environment. In order to prevent or remedy disease, at least one of these three sides of the triangle must be disrupted. The host is whatever organism is afflicted with disease, in this case, your grass. The pathogen is the disease. Dollar spot and red thread are the two you are most likely to see on residential lawns in our region. And the environment. The environment is defined by all of the circumstantial conditions surrounding your lawn. Soil quality, air temperature, moisture availability are all factors which determine your lawn's overall environment. So in order to mitigate disease, one of the legs of the triangle must be disrupted. But which one? Let's go through them one by one. You could disrupt the host. You won't have any more diseased lawn if you decide to rip all of the grass out. While that may be true, physical removal of the lawn will do much more harm than good and will require a lot of additional resources to replace. However, one very important way to positively affect the host is to always cut with a sharp mower blade. A sharp blade makes a nice clean cut which the grass can recover from very quickly. A dull blade, on the other hand, will tear the grass, leaving coarse, jagged wounds behind. Very often, it's within these wounds where disease begin to take hold. So make sure to monitor your blade's sharpness so that you can sharpen or replace it as needed. Alternatively, you could disrupt the pathogen. There's a whole litany of pesticides on the market which can kill fungi. But even when applied correctly, fungicides end up killing a great deal of the good microbes found in your soil, which can cause your soil to lose its vitality and its ability to support healthy lawn. For this reason, we believe fungicide applications are a net negative, and we would recommend you avoid this option wherever possible. From the common cold to fungal turf diseases, it is impossible to entirely eliminate pathogens from our environment, and that's okay. Because that leaves us with the most efficient and holistic approach, which is to disrupt the environment. Despite our best attempts, we haven't yet figured out how to control the weather, but you absolutely can control how often you apply water to your lawn through irrigation. If we can't eliminate the disease's existence, at the very least we can avoid giving it what it needs to proliferate. So if you know that your lawn has been getting plenty of water, but you're still seeing discoloration, and you think that it might be due to disease, try reducing how often you're irrigating your lawn. As always, watering is a moving target throughout the season. Whether you go from watering every day to every other day, or go from every other day to every three days, one way or another, your lawn is telling you that it's struggling because moisture is available too often and it needs you to cut back on watering events. If the disease issues occur in the heat of summer, as they often will, and you're concerned that your lawn will struggle if you cut back on water, you can simply water for longer periods of time during the mornings when you do water. As an example, if you're watering your lawn every morning for 15 minutes and a disease develops, you should try watering instead for 30 minutes every other day. Your lawn will still be supplied the same volume of water, but now it's also benefiting from a short period of controlled drought, which is a significant way to prevent fungal turf diseases. As I mentioned earlier, the two diseases you are most likely to see on your lawn are red thread and dollar spot. So let's talk briefly about how to identify these diseases. Red thread can appear on your lawn throughout the green season, but it most commonly will appear during the late spring, especially if we get an extended period of overcast, cloudy weather and frequent rain. Patches of red thread can widely range from 2 inches to 3 feet in diameter, but it is most easily identified by the pinkish red appearance on the blades of grass from which it gets its name. Dollar spot will most likely begin to show up in the very warm months of June, July, or August, especially during periods of consistent humidity. Dollar spot patches tend to be limited to about 1 to 4 inches in diameter. From a distance, dollar spot can seem to appear as general browning to the lawn, but upon closer inspection, you'll be able to identify more notable white lesions on the blades of grass. 
As we discussed earlier, both of these issues as well as most other fungal turf diseases can be remedied quite easily. Cut back on watering to make moisture less frequently available, and reassess your mower's blade to ensure a clean cut. Additionally, a dose of nitrogenous fertilizer will help your lawn fight off these diseases. So if you're already a Velvet Green client, don't worry, help is on the way. Thanks for watching. For more in-depth videos on how to water and mow in order to keep your lawn as healthy and vibrant as possible, click the link in the description below. Kid, Pet, and Earth-Friendly Lawns by Velvet Green Organic Lawn Care.